So hello guys, it's Kugan here. I just wanted to test it out how the changes uh, to the build, the nerfs for 3.15 uh, going to is going to affect uh, the bleed build. So I changed my axe to the uh, check the axe to make it more accurate, and I also using the earthquake normal 21, 23, and I put all the gems level one to kind of mimic the nerfs and I also remove a few cluster juice because they also got nerfed so I remove those two to see how the damage is going to be balanced to those and I also remove the deserting attacks from here and I put some points over here and the left one that uh, the last put it right here and the rust points here this is doesn't work anymore so I'm going to put those points here and I'm going to remove this one put right here so we have more attack speed and onslaught and gear so let's test it out if it's still available it's still viable and I'm going to pop like a white map so it doesn't affect by some random shit Not going to level up the gems. This is a tier 16 map. It is. No, is it 15? So to summarize what happened with the nerfs, uh, we lost basically a uh, hundred percent more damage from seismic cry. It doesn't uh, exert its attacks, do more damage. So. We lost 100% damage, and also the Fist of War got nerfed, so we lost like 40% on that damage too. But, I don't know, the damage is still really good for clearing. It's not the fastest build ever, but you guys know how Earthquake and Blade works. Now we have more sustain because we use Enduring Cry all the time. And the only thing that you need to keep noticing and aware of is the Fist of War. There's, there's no exerting attacks anymore. Damage on single targets is a lot worse, but still pretty tanky build. Good to test it out with the uh, Spectre Shield Troll. It doesn't have the new changes because the patch is not out yet. The only change that I did was with the Vicious Projectile. Level 1 is the only way to kind of mimic. And I replaced the uh, melee physical damage. And I also have a shield. Like maybe 2k or more armor also all of this is on um, crimson dance because as I was testing I don't see any difference between uh, using the ball or the or the crimson dance now it's just like personal preference Damage without EQ and the bow is a little bit less, but in the end, it's just personal preference. I, I do think it's the best one for you, your playstyle. <laughs> 